My name is Heidi Burdett and I'm an assistant professor at the Lyle Centre in Edinburgh. I'm a marine biologist investigating how our coastal ecosystems are responding to climate change and how we might be able to utilise them as a natural climate solution. So climate change really matters to me, but I really think it should matter to all of us, um, especially here in the UK. We're quite used to very variable weather and maybe having all seasons in one day. But climate change is about more than that. It's about the long term change that our world is experiencing and the expectations of how that might progress over the next century are really quite frightening. And so I think what's really important to understand is that to avoid this, we all need to take action from high level international policy through to even simple day to day changes that we can all make to our day to day lives. So my work is directly interested in how climate change is affecting our coastal ecosystems. Um, I focus on coastal ecosystems such as mill beds, coral reefs and mangrove forests, and I'm trying to understand how they work. These ecosystems are some of the most important in the world, but unfortunately, these ecosystems are also under severe pressure from both human activities and the long term climate change. So my research is trying to understand how the biology, chemistry and physics of these ecosystems interact. We're also now starting to explore how we might be able to utilise these interactions as a natural way of tackling climate change by increasing the amount of so-called blue carbon locked up in these ecosystems. And that acts as a kind of natural sponge for mopping up some of the excess carbon that's currently in our atmosphere. So Scotland's contribution to my research area is huge. Uh, For the size of the country, Scotland has a vast area of ocean. And so marine issues of all natures are really high up the agenda for Scottish research policy and, um, and in public engagement. And specifically for my research, Scotland has really taken a world lead in the concept of blue carbon storage. And we're one of the few countries in the world that has conducted a nationwide blue carbon assessment. And we have a network of researchers all seeking to understand the processes of blue carbon storage in all our major coastal habitats. And unfortunately, this consolidated effort is actually quite a rarity in science. But within Scotland, we have that for blue carbon. We have the expertise to understand the natural science basis of what climate change will look like, but also the social, political and economic factors that will come out of the impact of climate change um, on our society, but also more broadly around the world. So Scotland has the unique expertise to tackle this from all those different angles. So blue carbon research is quite a newly emerging field of research. And so far, it's really only focused on just three ecosystems, seagrass meadows, salt marshes and mangrove forests. Now, these are undoubtedly really important stores of carbon, but our coastal ocean has many, many other ecosystems, um, especially here in Scotland. And our recent research has shown that these ecosystems may be as important, if not more important than these classical blue carbon habitats in locking away carbon for thousands of years. But what's really lacking is our understanding of how, why and when these other ecosystems lock away carbon, Um, especially when we consider how humans and climate change will impact these ecosystems in the future. So I think my ideal outcome from COP26 is a real acceptance that we are now in crunch time. Um, Discussions about climate change have been going on for decades, um, but now is really the time to put those words into actions. 
transitioning away from fossil fuels will cost money. Um, and so I really hope that we're also going to be able to complement those actions with international commitments to provide sufficient support to ensure that every nation is able to play their part. Mm -hmm.